Hey there guys. So, let's say you're new to reloading or you have been reloading for quite a while, but there's some ammo that for some reason you need to disassemble. Uh, say, for example, like this guy. It's seated a little bit too far back, not because it was reloaded that way, but because it was uh, a uh, it was jammed at the range. So the bullet is pushed backwards and seated a little bit deeper. Or in this case, it's trying to get this out with a pair of pliers, but it could not. And both of these cases are uh, 10 millimeter auto cases. So another one that I'll disassemble today is uh, one of my 300 blackout uh, rounds that I made up probably about six years ago. And this is just in the barrel that I have now, just slightly a little bit seated, a little bit too long. Um, and the bolt would not close completely on it. So this is a uh, kinetic or impact um, bullet puller. There's uh, many of these in different calibers, but or different brands and uh, in different calibers, they take these uh, little bushing guys that you can see here. And uh, we'll start with this one. You just gotta follow the manufacturer's uh, guideline on which bushing to use with which caliber. But the set that I have, you could disassemble anything from uh, 50 AE or I have done Smith Wesson 500. Uh, from that size and that larger bushing all the way down to uh, nine millimeter. All right, so bear with me. But I'll be doing a few of these uh, reps. Of course, trust the air pro because we're indoors. If you want to do short reps, the long ones, they, they're okay, but they are not as effective as these short strokes. As you can see, I got a little bit too overzealous with it, but it separated the casing from the bullet that's in here. You can see that's live primer. So my case is still good. It's still primed. And what I have left in here is the bullet. And usually there's powder and everything too, but I think this is one of my um, mock bullets. So this is a uh, 300 blackout load I did six years ago. Um, I haven't really touched it since, and it was for a different barrel. And the barrel I have now installed in my AR has a 1 and 8 twist. And uh, these are not seated back far enough so it's a little bit too uh, long board and so it's kind of engaging the uh, lands and grooves before the bolt could actually close so that's why I'm disassembling this one. Primer is still good. 
And what's left in here is the bullet and the powder. I made these uh, subsonic. And so this 240 grain Sierra Match King uh, bolt toe hollow point is actually slightly longer than the 300 black up case. As you can see side by side, better view would be that right there. So another technique would be what I would like to call um, the dead blow method. For me, I kind of hold it with just three fingers keeping the picky off. And when I hit it, I just kind of do a limp wrist so that it doesn't bounce too much. And sometimes, as you could see with that three hits, two, three hits, that bullet is uh, able to come out way a lot easier than just like repping it very fast. Powder and the bullet. 